A very wise man once said that the secret to success in politics is sincerity. And if you can fake that, you've got it made. On the flip side, if people ever get the idea that you're saying one thing and then doing another, you're a dead man walking. Which is why my guess is the Tories wish they could start this month all over again. First up, we had Jim Flaherty's tough new budget. Jim announced we were all gonna have to make huge sacrifices and tighten our belts. And then he led by example by sneaking out the back door, getting in a private government jet and flying to London, Ontario so he could get his picture taken at Tim Hortons. <laughs> do as I say, people, not as I do. And then we find out that hidden inside this tough cost-cutting budget, an extra $13 million a year for the Prime Minister's own Privy Council office. That's an extra quarter of a million dollars a week for the PMO. Talk about your sacrifices. And then there's the ongoing Helena Georgia saga, which I don't understand. I mean, does she have pictures of the prime minister in a dress or something? This is a prime minister who has spent millions of dollars collecting stupid things his enemies have said and then mailed them out all over Canada. And yet Helena Georges screams that PEI is a hellhole at the top of her lungs and that's just fine with him. And then she doesn't even apologize. She releases a written statement. Try that one, kids. Next time your parents tell you to apologize for something, don't do it in person. No, just have someone type something up and then Fax it over in the morning. Actually, don't bother, it won't work. Unless you're a cabinet minister or you're married to one, and then normal rules don't apply. As always, if you want to get away with something in this country, it's not what you know, it's who you know in the PMO.